Next on PIJN News, Dr. Chaps reports on these important issues. Angel Studios has released a new movie out this weekend. You've got to go see The Shift. It's a life story about Job told from a science fiction perspective. We have interviews with the leaders today. Former Navy Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt took a stand to defend religious freedom by daring to pray publicly in Jesus' name. Now he helps you by reporting the news, discerning the spirits, and praying the scriptures. Would you pray with us? Here's Dr. Chaps. Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Chaps. This is Pray in Jesus' Name News. And I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee, actually Franklin at the Embassy Suites, where I just attended the ICVM Christian Movie Makers Conference, is what I'm going to call it. I just saw an amazing biblical science fiction movie. Biblical sci-fi? Who would think to make that? Well, Angel Studios, who is famous for Sound of Freedom and other studios, uh, 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 The Chosen, everything that we love, they just made The Shift which is directed by Ken Carpenter. He's joining us. But first, Neil Harmon is the CEO of Angel Studios. I want to welcome him uh, to the studio. Neil, welcome to Pray in Jesus' Name News. How are you today? I'm great, Dr. Chaps. Thanks for having us on. So I'm so honored to meet you. And, and before we show a trailer of The Shift, I want you to help me set up the storyline. Why was this movie selected to make by Angel Studios? Angel Studios decisions are made by a group of over 100,000 people that we call the Angel Guild. And these people watch short films or completed films, and they vote on whether these stories amplify light, whether they're excellent, and whether they should go to theaters. And uh, the, the Angels, many years ago, decided that they liked Brock's concept of telling the story of Job, Brock Heasley, who's the director of the writer and the director of the film for um, uh, telling the story of Job uh, with this sci-fi twist to, so we can think through that story and think through the principles of that story uh, from a new perspective. And they got behind the film and he went through many iterations as a first time director and was fortunate enough to attract Ken Carpenter, who's an experienced producer, very well connected in the space to help level up the film. And uh, the final result, uh, we're very excited to see how the, the market will respond to the story that we're telling. Thank you for that. I wanna introduce and bring in, since you mentioned him, Ken Carpenter. Uh, sir, you've directed many movies, uh, uh, but this time you're a producer. You put on your producer's hat and you work with a first time director to create a sci-fi flick about the Bible, the book of Job in particular. What attracted you to that story? Uh, it, it was two things, Dr. Chaps, right at the outset that attracted me. Number one, any any consideration of a potential project that I step into or we step into is based first and foremost on on what's on the page, the script. Uh, I often say movies are easy to talk about. It's another thing altogether to execute them well. And, and the writer's job in doing that is paramount. And um, so I had a friend introduce me to the notion of a sci-fi film that was brewing out of Provo, Utah. And I said, well, let me, that sounds intriguing. Let me read the script. And I was so captured by Brock's um, well-communicated and precise interpretation of the story on the page and that that really uh, grabbed me by the lapels and drew me in it didn't hurt uh, truth be told that it was incubating at a at a place called angel studios who is uh, very <laughs> handsomely disrupting the marketplace in the best of ways right now and so i was eager to link arms with these gentlemen and uh be 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 grafted into the adventure that the the crowd had given flight to so it's been quite a ride. Well, thank you. Okay, so Neil, I want you to set up this clip. We're going to roll. It's about two and a half minutes. Um, when I read the Bible and I'm reading Job, here's a guy who is struggling with his enemy, which is Satan. And God gives permission to Satan to torment Job. 
and and Job ends up losing his family and and he's physically hurt and he he's suffering through most of the rest of the book this is kind of like the story that you're going to describe what are we going to see in this clip of the shift <laughs> well the shift is like Christopher Nolan, Nolan made a home, Hallmark movie. <laughs> like it's so much better than Hallmark, but it's a romance that that the that, that husbands will actually like, and uh, it takes you for this Inception like ride that uh, I can't explain, and you just kind of have to see it. So this this trailer has it, it delves more into the romantic elements of of this story, and it's our favorite. Okay, let's go ahead and roll that clip. Kevin. Kevin, Molly, hi. I didn't come over here honestly expecting a date, but you know, I feel like that's where this is going. So the idea is what we have some fun and maybe we kiss. Hopefully. Fifth day, we are really a part of each other's lives. It's a real thing now. You know, there's the bad thing that happens. Wait, I'm not whole. What bad thing? Nice to finally meet you, Kevin. I'm the benefactor. Where's the accident? What happened? There was no accident here. Where did everybody go? They didn't go anywhere. You did. There are countless other realities. Imagine everything you have ever wanted. A thousand versions of you in a thousand different worlds all working for me. Where's my wife? I shifted her. I can't do this all by myself. I think the truth is that you're a liar. Your goal is misery. I prefer the term chaos. I've seen a bunch of people like us out there looking for a little hope. You're still trying to find that wife of yours. You're clinging, scraps and rumors. I'll we'll find my mom. I don't think the benefactor's gonna shift you back to your wife because you ask nicely. I won't ask nicely. I will find a way. What do you want from me? Work for me and get back with the woman that you love. thing tears us apart. And does that sound like something either one of us wants to endure? Okay, so there you saw it. We want everyone to go see The Shift. It's in theaters nationwide. It's opening this weekend. Uh, I think December 1 and 2. Is that is that when everyone needs to see it, Neil? D yes, please, please. Uh, I think there's some early show times on November 30th. But it's so important, not only that you go to the film, that you actually pre-purchase your tickets. Because those pre-sales tell the theaters that you want more stories like this. They tell the theaters that this story needs a platform, that this story needs more seats, and that this story should continue in the theaters for a week two and a week three. So those pre-sales are critical. So if you're interested in, in watching this amazing film, um, just pick up some tickets today. And if you, if you actually, if, if your budget is tight, this film is such a, a beautiful film for people who are going through hard times. We made a pay it forward program available and people are paying for one another's tickets just so that people who can't have wouldn't otherwise go or able to go. And so you can go get tickets right now at angel.com slash the shift, um, uh, whether you want to pay for them or not. And then if you, if you have the means, you can pay for somebody else's ticket. Angel.com. Again, that's angel.com slash the shift to get your free tickets or pay it forward to somebody else. Let's take a short break. I'll be back with Neil Harmon and Ken Carpenter. Dr. Chaps will be right back with more PIJN News. Hi, I'm Dr. Chaps. I've been praying and teaching for years about 
the baptism in the Holy Spirit, how you can have the power of God right now for your prophetic or power gifts ministry. This new teaching goes through not just Acts chapter two, when the disciples received the power of God from on high and began speaking in other tongues. But we also teach on the gifts of the Holy Spirit and every instance we could find in church history of the gift of tongues. This product is brand new and available to you for a suggested donation of $30. Call us at 866-ObeyGod to get yours today. Or you can find it on our website, PrayInJesusName.org. Click on the online bookstore at the top of the page, PrayInJesusName.org, available for a suggested donation of $30. Or you can call us at 866-ObeyGod. Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. You know, people ask me, chaps, we're watching on this network. We've already set our DVR to record your shows, but our friends don't have this network or maybe they can't watch at this time. Did you know we are on demand on 10 different platforms? You can tell your friends to find this show, PIJN News, on their Roku box or their Amazon Fire box. Just look under the religion or news categories. Or maybe you have a smartphone or your friends or grandchildren can find us on Android TV, Google TV, Smart TV, or iTunes. Of course, we're always on the internet. Look for us on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter, or better yet, subscribe to our daily email alerts at PrayInJesusName.org. It's important that you share all of these available platforms with your friends so we can mobilize all of the body of Christ to pray the news and change the world. Would you join us? Visit PrayInJesusName.org to learn more. Empowering you, the grassroots activist. Here is Dr. Chaps. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Chaps. Joined again by Neil Harmon of Angel Studios and Ken Carpenter, who has just produced The Shift. Uh, Ken, I want to come to you. Can you describe your relationship with the actors? You've made a lot of movies in the past, but what was new about this? Yeah. Um, I'm 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 going to use a, a cliche that we hear a lot as movies are talked about, but I, I I really love our cast, and I I do think we were able through our collective relationships to um, put together an ensemble cast that's strong from top to bottom, and I think what attracted the cast was um, y yes the opportunity to step into the exciting environment happening at Angel Studios. But everybody was unified around the fresh expression that this film allowed us to have, which is to say, um, th there's so many great films made in the faith adjacent or however you refer to it space. A lot of them sort of have similar patinas, but what came out of the brain of Brock Heasley is a whole new path in to unpack truths that are important to us as storytellers behind the camera and in front of the camera. And I think uh, the actors that I reached out to saw that and embraced that. And uh, thanks be to God, joined us. So I love two, two particular aspects of the movie. And I found the third aspect in my mind to be totally strange. <laughs> and maybe that's not a, a new reaction, but I love the romance of this. This is like a chick flick because here you have a strong lead male character who's down on his luck and falls in love with a strong uh, uh, sort of romantic and, and uh, assertive young woman who plays a strong female lead uh, right alongside a male lead. Um, th that's what I loved about it. Uh, I love these with my wife. We, I, I, I cry at those whenever <laughs> I get up. Based on the Bible. Are actual Bible verses quoted throughout the movie from the book of Job. And suddenly you realize this is not, although it looks like a modern day thriller, it's it's actually a parallel to the life story of Job, who goes through this suffering and he calls out to God to rescue him from the devil. And, and you have a great villain in this who plays the devil. Uh, here's what I found strange, is that it, it morphs into this sci science fiction movie where you have like people appearing and disappearing and you have sort of a dystopian go uh, government who hates religion and they're oppressing people. And, and then there's a chase scene and there's uh, landers, I'm going to call them, 
they're robot they look like robots and they're chasing the hero as he's trying to get back home trying to get back to his wife uh can i miss that or is that what you intended no it it is and and you know neil said it at the outset uh and I agree with him. It's it's sort of hard to describe. You 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 kind of have to just see the ship to understand how all the elements interweave. But the the challenge we undertook was a blend of romance, sci-fi, and allegory. Yes, and 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 that's really what we're giving to audiences. Um, and and I, I think in the end, Brock was able to strike a, a, a healthy balance of those three intriguing elements to create a really new and compelling and inventive story. Uh, so we heard Ken's answer. I want to get Neil's reaction to the same as a romance and, and science fiction, really. Uh, it was strange. What was your response? My response, I, I always liked the concept behind the shift from the very first time that I saw the original allegory, the original short film that was only 18 minutes long. My wife, on the other hand, did not like it. And she said, I do not understand why this is going to Angel Studios, Neil. Um, I just don't get it. And it was really fun when uh, Ken and Brock finished filming and cut together the first picture uh, like a uh, first assembly cut for everyone to see i took trisha to watch it and she got up afterwards and she said oh i loved <laughs> that i loved that film and uh, i knew that's when we had nailed it is because i liked it back from the concept i love the allegory i love allegories i love being able to think about ideas in a with a brand new perspective that for me helps me understand the scriptures better and it helps me appreciate God and his hand in things better. And um, so I was always into it. But then when I realized that Trisha was getting into it too, then I knew we had something that was special. My employees and I are excited to announce it's our 20th anniversary and to celebrate we're bringing you a limited edition my pillow the giza elegance my pillow is made with the most amazing cotton two inch pipe gusset comes in four custom loft levels and it's machine washable and dryable when i got my pillow i'm asleep almost immediately i stay asleep at night and i wake up more well rested in the morning my patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported in line. That's why we've been around for 20 years, because MyPillow works. Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get your limited edition 20th anniversary MyPillow queen size. Retails for $69.98, now only $19.98. That's right, only $19.98. With my 60-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America! I'm excited to announce that we're bringing back our best offer ever on our original My Slippers. You save $90 a pair with your promo code. And now My Slippers come in even more sizes smaller sizes, larger sizes, wide sizes, and all new styles and colors. Get them for your friends, your family, your neighbors, everyone you know. What makes My Slippers different is my exclusive four layer design that you're not going to find in any other slippers. My Slippers patented layers make them ultra comfortable, extremely durable, and they help relieve stress on your feet. I'm so confident that you and everyone you know are going to love My Slippers that I'm extending my 60 day money back guarantee until March 1st, 2024, making them the best Christmas gifts ever. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen now. Use your promo code to save $90. That's only $49.98 a pair. Quantities won't last long, so please order now. Stay tuned for the end of our show to learn how to partner with this ministry. Here's Dr. Chaps. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Chaps, joined again by Neil Harmon and Ken Carpenter, who have created The Shift, along with Brock and a, a ensemble cast. This is a sci-fi movie, but it's an allegory to the Bible, to the book of Job, 
And I love that about it. It really inspired me. Uh, Neil, can you talk about your personal faith? What inspires you to make biblical movies? I believe and feel that the Bible and the story of, of God's people is one of the greatest stories ever told. And um, there was a time in Hollywood where uh, the very, very best storytelling, Cecil B. DeMille, The Ten Commandments, like those were the tentpole huge events in Hollywood. And it's really fun right now because we are experiencing a resurgence of storytelling around the Bible. And and those those of us who love the Bible should be the very best storytellers. And there's a coalescence of talent right now that's that's moving this direction. And it's just such an exciting time. And uh, I feel like that the the answers to many of our problems in society are found in the teachings of the scriptures. And so all that we need is for society to re not reimagine, but rediscover the principles, the biblical principles, and know that uh, we can have a peaceful, prosperous society again if we'll turn back to what we already knew. I'm going to ask that same question, uh, but I'll, to Ken Carpenter, I'll phrase it a different way. Sir, you started out making Christian music videos in Nashville back in the day, right? Back with Amy Grant and Michael W. Smith and, and the people who started the Christian music industry. Now you're doing Christian films. And I wonder, what is your personal calling? Can you describe your own faith and why you're, you're operating in the, in the evangelical genre? Yeah, it's, um, it, it, it's really fairly elementary. Uh, I heard somewhere along the way do do what you love and uh work will never be work and uh i fell in love with movies early and i saw that movies hold a unique way to inspire us and to challenge us and to um <clears throat> communicate stories of hope and healing and truth and kindness goodness peace joy understand all those things that we hear in the Beatitudes and the fruits of the spirit. Uh, and, and I just, I, I, I have the good fortune of having worked with all those artists and many more in the, in the music space that you mentioned. And they, they, I saw in them uh, people who had creative giftings and were committed to using those to advance the kingdom with the creative giftings they'd been given. And it just made a deposit into me further to use whatever God's equipped me with to tell stories and do what I love to help in a small way, hopefully be just one more part of the body that's dutifully uh, advancing his truth and light. And as Neil and his team says, amplify light wherever we can. And I have the good privilege and fortune of doing that in the cinema arena. I love that. Uh, Neil, uh, we have just about uh, two minutes left. I want to get your uh, your reflections on the success of Sound of Freedom movie. Uh, and then I'll give you one more chance to pitch the shift. Why should people see it? How do they get advanced tickets? What's the website? Um, you had a great, and Jim Caviezel is a hero, right? He did Passion of the Christ. But when Sound of Freedom was launched, it was like, in the can. Disney want, didn't want to distribute this for three years. Why did Angel take a risk? And are you pleased with the $242 million in box office? Were you shocked by the success of that, Sound of Freedom? So we knew Sound of Freedom was going to be received well because the Angel Guild scored it so high. We did not expect to hit $100 million in domestic box office in the first 16 days. And we just, like the difference between our expectation and what happened, we feel like is God moving for these children, for awareness for these children. I've gotten messages from people from nonprofit organizations that are anti-trafficking who say that they have events that normally have 30 people and hundreds of people are showing up. 
that they put ads out onto Facebook to try to help uh, get people to act and support the anti-trafficking movement. And their ads have never been so cheap because of the awareness that has been built around that film. And that awareness has just spread, spread globally throughout the entire world. I've seen videos of people in Brazil singing, entire police departments showing up to build awareness. I've seen laws written in foreign countries and here domestically uh, to fight this movement. And it is one of the great honors of our company and of my own personal career to be a small part in helping God get that message out for those children. So we love what has happened and we love the people who have gotten behind that film, their hearts, they know who they are and, and they know what they're doing to fight for a better future for our children and uh, hats off to them for making this movie so big. Okay. So last pitch, why should everybody go see the shift? Where can they see it? How do they get advanced tickets and, and how do they share that with their friends? You should go see the shift with, uh, your significant other together. And you could even take the family. This is a, this is a film that would be appropriate for, for, um, uh, tweens and teens. And, um, it's going to be a ride like you haven't seen before. And, uh, you're smiling because you know, that's true. It's, it's, a, true. It, it's totally different than anything you've ever seen. And just for that experience, but, but also for the, you'll come away with this sense and feeling and and um, and love for God and for God giving us choices and and uh, expect and hoping that we will make unselfish choices um, that is is worth is worth the admission. Uh, you can find uh, shift. You can get tickets for the shift. You can get your show times at angel.com slash the shift. And please pre-purchase. Or if you're going to get the already available free tickets, go ahead and redeem those tickets now. With Those pre-sales are so important to the future of the film. All right, everybody. Uh, our guest has been Neil Harmon and Ken Carpenter. Go see The Shift in theaters this weekend. I'm Dr. Chaps, and our website is PrayInJesusName.org. Again, PrayInJesusName.org. Please donate when you visit. We are a viewer-sponsored nonprofit TV show. If you need prayer, call us toll-free at 866-Obey-God. We'll see you next time. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best financial donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray in Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll-free right now, 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.